everyone i am daisy of the daisy control this i welcome you to this online training day two okay i hope you enjoyed yesterday's lecture and i hope it was informative so today we are going to move on to the next thing so today i'll be teaching you how to cut flame or what we call peplum i'm teaching you how to cut different degrees I'll be teaching you how to cut 180 degree peplum or flay. I'll be teaching you how to cut 360 today. Then later, tomorrow, that'll be tomorrow, I'll be teaching you how to cut 720 degree. But before we move to the cutting, I'm going to just tell us, I'll give you give us a brief history on um, the word peplum. And also, I'm going to teach us how to calculate correctly the different degrees of flay. Okay, peplon is also known as um, overskirt, and it came from um, a Greek, the Greek word is um, peplos. So it has been in existence for um, quite some time now, and now just recently it it it, it came it came out and is now trending and it's you know, in vogue. There is hardly any one party you're going to go that you won't see um, this peplum or flip on any any of the guests there is no there is i don't think there is any one party it might be the sleeve it might be the gown it might be the top definitely you're going to see this so it's very very important for you as a beginner and as a fashion designer to be able to make this simple styles and there are there are different types of different types of peplums different types so they don't just make peplum just the same way just to give it you know fashion designers they are creative people so just give it some sauce and spice so we have different type we have the gathered peplum so if you want to create a curve around the hip that type of um, peplum is good the gathered um, peplum i'm sure you've seen that whether if the peplum will be gathered just like the name so that's called the gathered peplum we also have a flip flip um, peplum just like that's just like um an issue so that also is that also is um another type we also have we also have the pleated yes we have the pleated peplum whereby you please i'm sure you know uh, you know what it means to please like this instead of the peplum to be straight this is called you can see this is called the pleated um peplum so you have to know as a fashion designer as um a tailor as a dress maker you have to know the type of um style that is going to flatter the figure of your clients or you yourself you have to know all these things so different type of pe peplum works for different figures you have to know that also we have a symmetrical peplum i'm sure you know what a symmetrical peplum means so there are some um, from that peplum there are some part of the peplum that is higher than the other so it means you can't divide it into equal halves like that so there are some parts that are longer i'm sure you've seen that type of peplum that type of flea on people that you see that some parts are shorter some parts are longer on the same peplum so there are different types of peplum so i think that fourth is enough i'll be giving us details in the right form so that is all about the types of peplum or flea that um we have so now i quickly want to move over to how you can calculate accurately these different types um of degrees of flea how you can calculate and also the type the measurements you need so if you want to if you want to cut out a flea the measurements you need you need the radius you need the radius and okay before we start let me just Cheat this in as a dressmaker you have to love mathematics there is no way there is no way you can escape it everything in fashion designing is mathematic and um, mathematics um, related so there is no how you want to run away from it so you have to go back to your basic math if you don't like mathematics better start loving it now if you want extra lesson don't worry just joking so you have to love mathematics that so okay quickly let me just move i think that is that start loving mathematics marry mathematics now so your basic mathematics now in the primary school secondary school you need the radius of of where you want your flea to be placed if you want your flea to be on your um sleeve you take the sleeve 
the round sleeve of where you want it to be. If it is here, you take the measurement. That would be the radius. If you want your flay to start from here, you take the measurement. That would be the radius. If it is your waist, you take the circumference of your waist. That would be the radius. If it is on your knee, you take the measurement round your knee. That's your knee circumference. That is going that is that is sorry. That is what you're going to use to calculate the radius. I mean. So you need you need the radius, and you don't know the radius, what you know is the circumference so you take the circumference of where you want it to be so whether it is your waist whether it is your um your arm whether it is your leg so you take the circumference so let's say for example now i want my fleet to start from here so let me just let me just use okay this is let me just this is 10 i want Thing. and i told you for you to be able to cut your flesh you need radius but we don't know the radius but we know our circumference so the formula you know normal formula for thank you I don't, i'm not sure if you can so mathematics i'm sure you know this circumference the formula for circumference is 2 pi r and don't forget, I said what we need is the radius, but we don't know the radius, we know the circumference. The circumference is the measurement round where you want. And the circumference is what? C is what? 10. Please follow me strictly. This is basic mathematics. C stands for circumference. The circumference is 10. And we know, okay, 2 is here already. And pi. Basic mathematics, you know what pi is. Pi is 22 over 7 or 3.142. So, voila. We know our circumference, we know our pi, and we have our 2. So, what we don't know is R. So, what are we going to do? So, your radius will now be equal to, you know, normal. So, you divide it by 2 pi to make r the subject of formula you divide this place 2 by 2 pi you know 2 pi we cancel 2 pi so your radius will now be circumference over 2 pi so this is the formula to calculate your flay radius equals to circumference over 2 pi so your circumference is where the, the measurements round where you want your flay to start from. Your pi is a constant, 22 over 7 or 3.12. And then you do the mathematics to get your radius. So that is step one. So now let us move to how to cut. I told you I'll be teaching you how to cut 180 degree. 180 degree flay. Please just follow me strictly. Mathematics is interesting. You just have to know it. So, I will teach you how to um, cut 180 degree flay and also how to cut um, 360 degree flay today. Okay. We all know that um, for a circle, how many degree round is what? It is 360 it's 360 degree and what we want to cut is 180 degree that means it's half of a circle that we want you know 180 plus 1 is going to give you 360 that means it's half half circle flay that so i told you um that this is the formula to calculate uh, this is the formula for your flay for full circle for full circle just follow me so we have sorry radius <laughs> equals to circumference over two pi and since it is half circle we want what are we going to do we are going to divide this whole thing into two this is basic mathematics just follow please so radius equals to circumf circumference let me just represent circumference as c over 2 pi since this is divided this is you know normal mathematics it's it's going to so it will be multiplied by 2 over 1 2 is going to cancel 2 so therefore the formula 
artificial to calculate you don't need anybody to just stress when you know this you know it for yourself so it will not be circumference over pi so this is the formula to calculate 180 degree flay circumference over pi let me go over it again for 180 degree flay 180 degree flay this is half half degree of the circle you know the full circle is 360 degree and if you want to you want to cut 180 degree flay, that is half of the circle and i told you that the formula for the radius of a full circle is circumference over 2 pi the which is 360 but we need 180 so radius equals circumference over 2 pi divided by 2 because we need half of this and normal mathematics when you divide it's going to be circumference over 2 pi multiply by 2 normal um indices and other things so 2 over 1 2 is going to cancel 2 and you'll be left with circumference over pi this is the circumference sorry this is the formula for 180 degree flip. I hope we understand. Circumference over pi, it will be the formula to cut out your 180 degree flip. Very, very simple. So now let us move over to 360. For, th for the 360 degree, we don't need to calculate anything because we've already calculated it already. So for you to cut out your 360 degree flip, circumference over 2 pi that is already done that before so this is the formula for a full circle 360 degree radius equals to circumference over 2 pi now i told you circumference is the measurements round where you want your flay to be so now let us move to the practical section um i hope we understand for 360 degree the formula is circumference over 2 pi that would be the radius for 180 degree to be circumference over Pi. That is all for the calculation. Please, if you have any question, just ask me. But this is very, very cheap, very, very simple. So let us move to the practical. So now I want to cut out 180 degree flip. And we now we already know the formula for 180 degree flip radius over circumference over pi and I, and I said earlier that i want my circumference let's say i want it to be here okay and i want it to be like this so nine let's say nine is the, is the circumference of what i want so it should be nine over pi i told you pi is a constant it is 22 over 7 or 3.14 so it's 3.142 you can just see 3.142 so sorry let me just quickly calculate that so 9 9 divided by 3.14 it will give us 2.86 so the radius is 2.866 six you can just search 2.87 however you want it so that is the radius so now what else do you need apart from the you need two measurements to um cut out your flea you need the radius and you need the length so how long do you want your flea to be so i want my flea to be like 10 inches long so what are you going to do? We've already gotten, I told you we need radius and we need the length. We've gotten our radius to be 2.866. So I want it to be as long as 10 inches. So what are you going to do? You add plus 10 inches. So what do you have? You have 12.87. So 12.87 inches is what you will be cutting out. And you can just approximate it to... 13. So when you are approximate to 13, you're going to have excess, and you so you can just split it, and that will be like um a style. So let me show us now. We are done with the calculation. The circumference for what I want to cut is 9, and I divided it by pi to get my radius, and then I want it to be as long as 10 inches. So I have 13 because I want some excess so I can split it or gather it. So the, this is what we want now, 13 inches. So now let me show you 
how to do that okay so i told you we need it's 30 inches we need for my half play now i want you to be 10 inches there. so 13 inches this is what you're going to do sorry let me get the um, chalk so 13 inches that is what we need so you measure 30 inches like this you mark 13 inches like this you mark and what are you going to do with that you fold like this So I've already folded this into two, meaning from here to here is 13 inches, from here to here is 13 inches. So that means if I open it, that is 26 inches. So next, you measure from this edge again, from this other edge, to here. That is 13 inches. We are going to be folding into four, and then we fold over. So now we have four folds. We have four folds now. Okay. Just showing you. This is just an example, a rough sketch. So. so now I folded into four. We have four layer. One, two, three, four. We have four layers now. So what are we going to do next? we need to cut out the radius and the radius is what 2.86 and i said i want to approximate it into three because i want to have some excess so what are you going to do from the apex here from this apex from the um this folded edge where there is no opening at all you measure three inches down you measure three inches down like this three inches round you measure it round round okay so you measure round and then after after measuring round you just connect like that i hope you can see i hope you can see i'm trying to board in so that you can see so this is the radius now the next thing is to measure the length I told you the uh, measurement of the length is 10. You also measure 10. You measure, you measure, you measure it round like that, like that. Same thing. So you measure like that, round. Same thing like that. So the end, you can see. So you measure 10 from here. You measure 10 like this. So you can see. You measure 10. 10 inches here, you measure 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches, like that, 10 inches, round, round, till the end, so we now have, like that, and don't forget, always add your allowances to it, so let's say you want 10 inches, you should add a um, allowance of 1 or 1 and a half inches, so for you to be able to M the edge and also for you to be able to join it to your sleeve or to your um your um half um body so you should always add um your allowances so we are almost um through with this so after that the next thing is for you to cut out you cut out this radius you cut it out you also cut this place out but i won't be cutting out because i still want to use it um to explain a 360 degree so you cut out this let me let me do it on a paper for it so i'll cut out you see i told you you first of all fold the measurement of what you have like this and also you fold again and the next thing you take the me the length of your radius round and also after that you take the measurement of the length round plus the um sewing allowance you can see so what are you going to do 
like I, I showed you, you cut out the radius. You cut out the radius and you also cut out this down part. You see? And you have your flip. You can see. It's because it's the paper, that is why it's like this. And this, you have this. This is your 180 degree flip. If you cut your 360 degree flip, it will be much more fuller than this 180 degree flip because this is half of a circle. So that is all about 180 degree flip. I hope you understand. So now let us quickly move to 360 degree flip. Okay. I'll still be using the same um, measurement. I told you for 360 degree flip. The formula for 360 degree flip. The formula is sac um the formula is radius equals to circumference over two pi. But for one it is just over pi. So this I told um I'll still be using the same. So I want the circumference to be nine over two. Multiply by pi. I told you pi is always 3.142 or 22 over 7. So 3.142. So it will give you 6.28. Okay, 9. So it will be 9 divided by 6.28. So I'll be having 1.43. Imagine this is 1.43 compared to this one that is 2.8. So the smaller the radius, the um, the wave here, your um, flay is going to be. So this circular method, you can also use it to cut your flounce and other um, your cone flay too. You can also use this um, method, but you have to add some excesses and like that. So the smaller the radius, the more wave here, and the more wave here your the more wave here your flay is going to be. So the radius. For 360 degree flip is 1.5. I just showed you this so that you know. And I want the length to be um, 10. So you had, so it will be 11.43. Plus, don't forget, plus your sewing allowance. I told you always add sewing allowance to it. So you had your sewing allowance to it. So you just do the same thing. It's also the same thing. But let me, let me just, let me just. For benefit of let me just go and um, do it again for 360 so 360 now 11.43 let's say 12 plus so in other ones one point so that's be 13.5 so what are you going to do you measure 13.5 straight like this you measure the 13.5 from year to year and then you fold the first one would not add sewing allowance to it. That's why I just remind you. You always remember to add your um, sewing allowance to it. Please always remember. So after folding um, the measurement like this, you also fold again like this. And then how I taught you, you measure. Now the radius, the radius for this is um, one point four three. But I want it to be two because I want to pleat a little bit. So you um, also from this apex, you measure two inches down, two inches down, two inches brown like that. And from that radius, you measure your length and then you cut out. So that is all about flip the 180 degree flip and the 360 degree flip. So I really hope that this video was very helpful. I, I tried my best to break it down to the barest minimum because I want you to be able to calculate your flay yourself. You shouldn't just um, use just my um, idea. I want you to know it because I want you to be the best. I've already told you whatever you want to do, always aspire to be the best. Always aspire for excellence. So know the intrinsic part of any heart of your, um, of your choice. So if or even if it is not tailor, you know, even if it is not fashion, whatever you feel, make sure you know and always try to learn every day. I am still learning. Always try to learn every day because there are so many things that you won't be taught. You just have to keep on learning every day. So I hope this was very, very helpful. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, make sure you ask. I'll try my possible best to do that. Thank you very much for watching. I remain dizzy. Bye. See you later.